There are over 140,000 collisions on UK roads every year. With the 6 million drivers aged over 70, the most likely to be involved in a serious or fatal accident. Currently, drivers over the age of 70 have to self-certify that they are fit to drive every three years, but they do not have to pass any kind of test, leading for many to call for the system to be overhauled for the safety of all road users. But are our roads really full of thousands of drivers who aren't able to drive safely? Are drivers over 70 able to pass their test again decades after they originally took it? This sucker's quick. To put this to the test, Archie and I got hold of some old people. Where are we going to find old people? Grinder, Tinder. Old people love dating apps. I'm not sure people will be expected to do a driving test if I recruit them on Grinder. They might do. Everyone's got a kink. Bridge clubs. There's a lot around the coast. We could, get, we could ship some in from the coast. Bingo! Bingo halls. I tell you what, why don't you keep thinking of interesting ways to recruit old people? I'm going to put up an Instagram That's story. It's such a scene. boring influence. It is. Kind of, I'm a YouTuber, I'll put up an Instagram. It's dull. It might be dull, but it's going to work. I also reached out to Asif, an official DBSA driving examiner who owned a swanky dual control car. With everything booked, we had a casualty of our own as Archie contracted appendicitis, which I considered to be a mere speed bump. Oh, you're still in your gown. Why the f*** have you brought Tom here? So? Why, have you, why is that camera in my bedroom? We've been talking about keeping momentum up I've on the channel. I've been getting in my f***ing bed. What are you doing? And I know you've had a little operation and you're oh, feeling all sorry for yourself. Why are yourself, you here? But I think it's important that we keep the ball rolling. I'm really confused. Why is... Why? Well, we were going to be filming the elderly people taking their driving test today. Yeah, we were, but we're not now because I've got appendicitis. Well, that's actually where you're wrong. Um, Michael? Oh, for f**k's sake. This is Archie. That's Michael. Hi, Michael. Sorry, I'm not particularly... Well. Good morning. This is Susan. H hi, Susan. And that's Alistair. You're in my house. Okay, this is like the midnight game show gone wrong. I need you to brief the folks on what they're going to be doing today. Do you think you'll be able to pass the test again now? Yeah. The modern test? So it's yeah. to see whether you guys are safe enough to drive on Britain's We're roads. Safe to the new young people. Is that what you reckon? I reckon, yeah. So we have to do an eyesight check, general driving ability, reversing your vehicle. Oh, uh, women are, I'm, I know, awful at reversing. They are. <laughs> women are known to be awful at reversing. And I am no exception to that. You'll have to drive for 20 minutes by following a sat nav or traffic signs. Alistair does something very pleased about that. If you do go too fast and get a speeding ticket, that will be on your licence. Mostly 20 miles an hour. Oh, I can't do 20 miles an hour. Crazy. Do you have any points on your licence? Yeah. You're clean. Clean. I have ha had in the past, but I'm clean now. I went to court with it because I was in a 30 mile an hour and I was doing 15. I've had three write-offs recently. <laughs> <laughs> this blooming great deer came out from the side. Yeah. So I swerved a little bit, hit the deer, swerved a bit and hit another car. But uh, that was a write-off. And then another one was a massive tractor and there was no verge to go into it, it was just a hedge. So I got bashed one side and then bashed the other by him. That wasn't very nice. Big stallion, a big horse, <laughs> bashed into my car and it was a write-off. Oh, oh, really? The horse yeah. or the car? The car. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fast getting insurance for that. And then another one was... We had three representatives of the greatest generation that ever lived. But before they undertook their driving test, we tested them on their ability to make a YouTube advert. Get going while I remember. Introducing the all-new AirUp Gen 2 bottle. This is water as you've never seen it before. This bottle adds flavour by using scent alone. Just insert the scent pod of your choice. I've gone for peach. I can even smell it through my beard. I taste peach instead of water. It has a handy strap for when you're on the go. It's even dishwasher safe. Air up. Excite the ordinary. It was time for Asif to examine our pensioners. First up on the official DVSA practical driving exam is an eyesight test. Can I ask you to read the number please? LF 23 D 680 Having passed the eyesight test, our drivers moved on to the independent driving section. Am I in neutral? Yes. Should we get your oh, so I wasn't in really neutral, that's a good start. Which sees them follow a sat-nav without any assistance from the examiner. Fourth exit, Harrington Gardens. It's nothing like my car. So everything's in the wrong place. Can I ask you to just bring your speed down? Yes. 20 miles an hour. I am at 20. Honestly. Yeah, now you are. Okay, Alistair, we've gone the wrong way, but not to worry, After just relax. After 90 yards, go around the roundabout. Right. Next up, parking. Just take your time. Oh. Su Susan, can I What's get you to... What have I done wrong? <laughs> I can't get the thing Can I get you to start the engine? 
<laughs> and finally, a go at what the DVSA called general driving ability. Let's go on the motorway. Susan, if I could just ask you to slow down a little bit, because it is a 20 zone, yeah? Sorry, old foot. We're going to stop you there, Susan. I failed, so. I'm going home. Now that the exam was complete, it was time for our drivers to receive the results. You got a, a dangerous fault for control. Sorry you haven't passed. Oh dear. We've got six serious faults. Uh, glory, hallelujah. And one dangerous fault. Oh my. I'm sorry you haven't passed. The dreaded yeah. parallel park. Thank well you done. very much. So three out of three over 70 year olds had failed their practical driving exam, which led us to wonder how a 30 year old YouTuber post appendix surgery would fare. I'm on codeine, is that okay? Oh, it's a f***ing manual. Hello, madam. I live here, madam. So God, I'm just doing a driving test on, on live television, so and I've just had my appendix out, so if you could f*** off, that'd be lovely. Oh bit. my God, my stomach is on fire. Oh that is a very good pub. If you want a pint, it's good. Should we stop for a, we, we could stop for a quick mm. one. Well, that's my friend Sarah. Neutral, please. Sarah, hi. She's just jumped that red light. Did you see that? <laughs> Absolutely clueless. F*** off. Uh, honestly, yeah, on a level. Don't sound the horn, man. Nice and smooth. No, f***, f***. I can't go forward. That's a red light. Yeah, where are you going? I, well, I nearly, I nearly, nearly being the operative word, nearly jumped the red light, yeah, but I did not. I love the highway code. It's one of my favourite books. Cyclist coming. I'm just going to pause for the cyclist for safety reasons. Sex, ah, my friend. I think we can all agree is a f***ing phenomenal parallel park. <laughs> Stop the engine, bull yakasha. Boom. I'm sorry. Oh, f you haven't passed. Oh. I've failed the test. Has anyone checked he's actually a f***ing instructor or quite like? Yeah, yeah. I thought um, I did quite well there. No, you didn't. And as it turns out, whether you are 75, 85, or 30, it seems that nobody is capable of passing their driver's test. Anyway, I've really got to go back to bed. That was a lot of fun. Okay. If this video is Bad shit, life. it's because I've not really had much to do with it. <laughs>